I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to show you an interesting case. A child who was brought by his parents with complaints of abnormal head posture and bizarre movements of the eyes. Parents said that he can see clearly but there is something wrong with his eyes. So we can show you this child and I am sure most of you can instantly diagnose this kid. His vision was 6-6 six, six in the right eye and 6-12 in the left eye. The weight is over and I am showing you. Now if you closely observe this patient in horizontal movements, there is limited abduction of both eyes and left eye adduction is also mildly restricted his convergence was also weak and both of his globes retracted while adduction so what is this yes you are spot on this is bilateral duane refraction syndrome type 1 which is the most common type of duane syndrome in primary position the eyes are straight Adduction is uh, mildly restricted or normal, but abduction is defective. How we differentiate it from bilateral sixth nerve palsy? Because in bilateral sixth nerve palsy, congenital or acquired, there is limited abduction. Well, we usually we diagnose the case of Duane. Uh, by observing the narrowing of one palpebral fissure and widening of the other eye palpebral fissure. On adduction, there is refraction of the globe and palpebral fissure narrows as a result of co-contraction of the medial and lateral recti. And on abduction, the palpebral fissure widens. Now, what is the pathophysiology? There is a failure of innervation of the lateral rectus by the sixth nerve nucleus and the third nerve gives anomalous innervation to the lateral rectus as well the other clinical features associated with doing are face turn up shoots down shoots and up shoots and down shoots are also obvious while adduction this occurs due to tight lateral rectus muscle slipping over or under the globe to produce vertical bizarre movements convergence is also very weak so there are three types of doing type 1 with limited abduction as in our case type 2 with limited adduction type 3 with limited abduction and adduction now treatment amblyopia is not common but if present is an isometropic rather than strabismic like in our case Usually patients have good vision. Most children maintain binocular single vision by compensatory head postures. Important point is that if a child with Duane stops using compensatory head posture, that's alarming sign because it shows loss of binocular function. So you have to treat or surgically correct. Surgery can also be done for abnormal head posture neck discomfort, cosmetically unacceptable down shoots, up shoots or severe globe retraction. Later rectus is not touched, unilateral or bilateral muscle recessions or transposition of vertical recti are usually done. Thank you very much.